Okay, I think one of the easiest ways for you to cut down on your makeup time is to use products in multiple ways. So I'm gonna do Hannah's face, which doesn't need much because she's already pretty. Um, I'm gonna use a cream highlighter as a cream highlighter eyeshadow as well as a cream highlighter for the face. I'm going to use bronzer as shadow as well as bronzer for the face. I'm gonna use concealer pencil to brighten the eye as well as to conceal. And I'm going to use cream blush as lip color and blush. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to Apply my cream eyeshadow. So I'm just using a face, creaming face highlighter. I'm using it in the highlight area of the lid. Okay, so I've done my um, highlight on the lid. I'm then going to take that same highlight and I'm apply it to her highlight areas. Center of the forehead, give her a little bit of a glow, do a little bit down the tip of the nose, and then a little bit right on that cheekbone. Tip of the chin. Okay. Now I'm going to take my bronzer and my number 20, I mean my number 11 brush. Look down for me. And I'm going to use it as my mid tone. Now I'm taking my number 30 brush and I'm gonna go a little bit more bronzer in the outer corner, just for a little more definition. Now I'm going to take that same bronzer using my brush number 74 and I'm going to start to give her face shape and a bronzer face to see how a product has multiple uses so that your makeup kit can be smaller, you'll have less products in there and you can put your face on much faster. Now I'm going to once again take some more bronzer and I'm going to start to do mid-toning underneath the eye. Okay to start to add definition there as well. And because you're using a product with so little pigment, feel free to smoke it out. Really get some color there because this is the only definition you're gonna get other than some lashes. Because we always, always put on mascara. Okay, now I'm gonna I'm going to um, I'm gonna curl her lashes. I put a, a thin layer of mascara already on there, and I'm gonna use the heated eyelash curler. And I'm just gonna get them nice and curled. Remember, your heated eyelash curler works with mascara, so you need a layer of mascara on there. It uses the mascara as a curling catalyst. There we go, now I got some curl working. Okay, now I'm gonna do a layer of, another layer of mascara. Look down for me. Put 
Look at me. Okay, now um, I'm gonna take my concealer pencil, same concealer pencil I use on the rest of her face to hide things, and I'm gonna line the inside wet tissue of the eye. This will just give her a wide-eyed, kind of brightened look. I love this effect. Then you can simply go back over it with a Q-tip to blend it in. Make sure you get it everywhere you want it. Now, I'm gonna take my cream blush. I'm going to use it on her cheeks. Smile for me. Add color and a glow. Oh, come on, Hanny, you can smell better than that. There you go. Going back over it with my sponge just to blend it in. And then I'll take that same cheek color and I will just pat it on her lips to give it a bit of a color, a bit of color. Now I'm putting gloss right on top of that, that blushed lip. Now the reason why cream blush then gloss, the cream blush will last longer so it gives you more opaque co coverage and then that gloss just makes it shiny.